Well, I'll tell you one thing. If you're going to be uh, pinned down <clears throat> by a bunch of feral zombies at nighttime in the wasteland, at least make sure you're pinned down at a POI that has landmines all around it. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play this game on the same difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed. This entire map is generated by nitrogen, and it is a wasteland map, the entire thing, except for one very small uh, green biome that we are looking for. A little paradise oasis in the midst of the wasteland. Um, so we are basically on a sojourn right now. If you haven't uh, caught the earlier episodes and uh, we are gonna get our ass bit by a rattlesnake here in a second you son of a come on there we go oh, we still didn't hit him <laughs> there we go um yeah so that's what we're about and um so we are looking for the green biome and we're kind of head heading west when we spawned into the game we um i'm just gonna well no here put it in here um we spawned in pretty much on the vertical center of the map but maybe about a thousand or so meters to the north um and we spent several episodes in this area just kind of looting those pois and setting ourselves up you know a little bit of a base and we kind of went over here and looted some of that stuff too um and so it, it would just, and then we did the first Horde Night, so we did Horde Night 7, and then we just set out um, in the last episode. So we're going to continue on. Uh, we do have a couple of POIs here, though, that we are going to um, just try and loot, you know, the good stuff, the end loot, without looting the whole, the whole entire thing. And so let's check in here. Yeah, I do realize my health is down a little bit, but we do have that first level in... Um, Whatever it is that, you know, ge regenerates the health, the medical thingamadoodle. So we'll let that kind of work. And if buzzards come by, we'll just probably shoot them. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started here. So we have a couple more POIs over this direction. It's another junkyard. And then something else. And then we'll probably get on that road... Yeah, it looks like that road is heading west. We'll probably start following that road. <clears throat> I'm 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 trying to be very careful about what we actually, um, you know, take with us because our inventory space is so limited. It's gonna say, there we go. Didn't have to even waste any ammo on that. Because we don't want to get, like, completely encumbered either. So it's in the city bus. Alright, we don't need either one of those things. Whoa. Um, alright, so... Let's see, I'm trying to remember. This POI has the loot... The end loot, I think, in this corner. I will take that for sure. Um, I think I'm going to leave the nitrate. Yeah, that was a nice find. How about some meat stew or something? Okay, we'll take blueberries and water. Absolutely. Okay, so yeah, we need to... Wow, these are like the same POIs that were in our other location. Let's break in through here. We're probably going to get the attention of some Zika Ruskies. I wonder if we can get him to bugger off. Okay. So here's how I think I want to do this. Let's, um... Let's actually make our our little tower here. So we're already off the ground, you know, if and when somebody comes along. 
And uh, then we want to bust her here. Now, I think this is a thousand hit points. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Look how fast that's busting through there. Man, I'm so glad we found this. Uh, I figured you were going to come back, you son of a... Oh, he's breaking that fast. All right, this is too dangerous. Yeah, he, he's just he's just breaking that way too quickly. All right, let's finish this out. You know, before we break that all the way, let's let's deal with uh, this zombie. Thought I saw something over there. Big mama. We're gonna have to move closer to hit her. That little ridge there's not letting me get up there very well. Oh, that seems to be working okay. I don't think I can get a power shot off on her because she's just too, a little too far back. Goodness. Come on, big mama. <laughs> we keep knocking her out. Here, let's put the, let's get this. There we go. Okay. Okay, good, good. I'm going to take that and that. I'm going to leave that stuff in there. Nice. Come on, shotgun Messiah. Wouldn't it be nice to find like a pump shotgun? <coughs> There's our pistol. All right. Um, we left some nine mils back in the junkyard, didn't we? We should probably go back for them now, now that we have a pistol. You know what I think I'm going to do now? I think, well, not sure what I'm going to do. I was tem I'm tempted to to leave the blunderbuss behind now because if we do that it's going to give us two slots back the only the only bad thing about that is that if we got to the point where we ran completely out of ammo this is the only thing we can just make immediately but that's not likely to happen i mean it could happen but it's not likely to happen all right let's see what's in here Um, we already have iron gloves on. Oh, these actually have more armor than what we have on. No, they don't. That's not, I'm not reading that right. Okay, is this junk turret better than this one? It is not. Yes, it is. It's got two more durability. Okay. So, uh, I want to look at something here real quick. 
What's this junk turret parts? Yeah, I don't care about that. Okay, let's go here. And these have, yeah, those have tin. Okay, so we don't care about the leather gloves, and we want to um, modify that to get the ammo out of it, and then we'll put this guy in here, and this is now our new junk turret. All right, good enough. So yeah, as long as we can keep, you know, hitting the the end loot in these places and getting the ammo and stuff, um, you know, we're gonna be we're gonna be in good shape for ammo. It's not it's unlikely that we're gonna run out of ammo. It's unlikely. Okay, let's go ahead and eat that, and let's go ahead and eat this, and that should get our stamina all the way back. We still have two more boiled meats, and we can make at least one bacon and egg, and I'm sure we're going to come across, you know, more eggs as we continue our sojourn. And I, you know what? I think I am going to do that. I'm going to go back, we'll get the 9 mil, mil ammo, and I'm just going to leave the blunderbuss behind. I mean, worst case scenario, we could easily make another one of these, too, if, if, if we had to. But like I said, I don't think that's going to happen. All right, good. That was profitable. We'll leave that there. So we're going to go hit that little uh, mobile home place over there next. Two eggs. Beautiful. Are we hurt? A little bit. He doesn't seem to be wanting to attack us, though. Let's just watch him for a second, just to make sure he doesn't start swooping. Yeah, I think he's going to leave us alone. <coughs> All right, let's go back over to the safe. On the other side of the junkyard, we'll get the 9 mil ammo and we'll drop off the blunderbuss. <coughs> oh, we already know that. Okay, so what, I, I, don't I don't remember learning that, but obviously we did. That'd be cool if we, if we found the motorcycle. I think we just need the handlebars, right? And then the, the rest of it we can make. And we, we know where there's at least one workbench. Okay, let's grab those nines, and we're going to stick the blunder in here. And I think... Let's... Let's do something here. And I'm doing this for the purpose of, of gaining us some space. Okay? So we're going to... We need to repair five things... Because we can make six repair kits. And then if we repair five things, we will still have a full stack. Alright, so this needs to be repaired. Um, here, let me do this differently. So that needs to be repaired. This needs to be repaired. That needs to be repaired. That needs to be repaired. And that needs to be repaired. These guys are at about halfway. Not too worried about the spear. Okay, then once these five are made, it'll just stack into there and we're good to go. All right, let's turn this into junk turret ammo. And let's turn this into crossbow bolt. There we go, we got some spots back. Super. Glad we have a 9 mil, because, <clears throat> you know, we have a bunch of 9 millimeter ammo back at our original base. It's just the cheapest gun to shoot. Well, the shotgun's probably comparable, too, in that regard. All right, let's get, um, let's get, uh, little mama here packing down the road so we can go hit that trailer, trailer home next. Next. 
Did we loot this car? We got a dog there. We did not. Don't care about that. Yeah, I think uh, I think the decision to put the heavy armor on was the right move, especially after that fight in the last episode. That was pretty hairy. Uh, I think this dog's going to be a pain in the ass, so let's just kill him. Nice. That didn't take long. And right, we have another dog over there. Might as well pull him over here too. Come on, Fido. And then let's pull that zombie over too. Good gravy. Can't believe I'm missing so many times. There we go. Come on, lady. Let's do this. <laughs> okay. That takes care of her. Just put that right there. That doesn't need to be repaired, so we're in good shape. Keep that down there for now. Nope. Can't do anything with that stuff right now. Because we're on the road again. Alright, I think the fat loots in this place are in that corner, if I remember right. I th think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. Wait, is this the right place? You know what? Let's just let's just go in through the front door. Because I can't remember now except if that's exactly where that stuff is. Nice brass, but we can't use it. Come on, give me a magazine. Give me the one where we can't step on landmines. Oh, okay. Weave plant fibers into cloth. I have plenty of bandages. Here's my secret. So we make, basically we make cloth out of plant fiber. Okay, that's useful. Certainly useful. Uh, nope, not taking any of that, any of that stuff. Uh, we will take the wood and we'll scrap a doodle that. Oh, look at that. Chrysanthemum and goldenrod. And blueberries. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? Um, I mean, once we find the forest by more, we'll find this stuff. M maybe not blueberries, though. Maybe I should have kept those blueberries. I'm going to actually mark this. Um, and we're going to call this um, blueberries. That way, uh, if and when the time comes that we want to start making... You know, blueberry stuff, there's a safe up there, probably, so we'll also go after that. Okay, so this door is probably locked. Oh, no, it's not. All right, let's let's uh, let's get sneaky sneaky and get our shoddy shoddy out here. Probably going to be dogs in here. Oh, he can't come after us anyways. He's got, there's a thing there. That doesn't mean there isn't something else ready to jump out and eat us. Like from coming out of there. Okay. 
Let's do this. We've got to see what's behind that that curtain. Okay. All right. Let's take this guy's legs out. Kneecap him. Oh, come on, stamina. Could have gotten a headshot there. I, you know what, guys? If we're gonna be using, if we're gonna be using this sledgehammer as our main melee weapon, which we are, we we need to take a point or three in sexy T. We just have to do it. So that's probably going to be the next point we'll take. Alright, so he's down. I'm just deliberately making noise here to see if we can get anybody else's attention. Okay, let's, um, let's go in here first. Now I think it was I think it was Malgus that No, it wasn't Malgus, it was um Camel's Gamer. I think it was Camel's Gamer. Suggested that once I put these down, not to break them, just break the block out uh, above them. Why can't I bust this door thing? There we go. Um, you know, to to get back in, and then if if something aggro's, we just put a, a frame up there, and they won't break it. So that was a great suggestion from Camos Gamer. We could still have. Oh, I bet you we do have a seeker in there. Can we loot this first? Careful with that. Um. Wake up. Wake up. Here I am. Nobody there. Okay. Um, we could get some cloth from here, I suppose. That is one thing that we are carrying with us. All right, let's go in here. Just realized that we're thirsty. More dirty water. Ooh, nice. Shoddy shells. Oh, beautiful. That is beautiful. Okay, we're going to keep that here down there for emergency poipuses. Yeah. Yucky. Nope, we don't want that. All right, let's uh, scrap a doodle this and get rid of that and turn all this into junk turret ammo. All right. We're good. Now let's go in here. All right, any zombies in here? Hmm. Does this uh place not have like an have like end loot? How about some coffee? All right, let's just loot everything and then we'll sort it out later. There's some cat food. Dog food. Oh, nice. Okay. Beer and yucca smoothie. Very nice. And we got... Oh, weapons bag. Here it is. Okay. Come on, come on. Give us something good. screwing around. Just break this. Come 
Okay, more shotgun shells. Beautiful. This shotgun, let's look at it and we'll compare it to what we currently have. So it is not as good as our yellow, and it's better than our other brown. So we're going to swap these out. Let's modify that to get the shells out of it, and then I think we're just going to put it in there. Okay. Nice. Okay, so that was the that was the end loot for this place. Oh, Mr. Cabinet. Okay, get rid of the jars. Uh, let's eat this. We got two things of dog food. Both of those give ten. That's not bad, actually. Um, let's see where we end up, though. Yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna let's just eat both of these. That way we we get all the way back to the top of our stamina cap and we you know clear some more inventory space so recipes junk dirt ammo okay we're finished with this place so let's see that's the junkyard we did we already looted that place so we got the yellow place in this building over here that's got the safe on the top floor and probably a sleeper and then we have the yellow place that's just one of those yards over there that probably doesn't have anything good it might okay there's a feral right there we're gonna have to be a lot more sneaky sneaky if we're gonna be out and about at nighttime Does not look like a lootable nest. Or in the nest. Desk. Alright, let's block this off. To prevent other Zekers from easily jumping up there. Um, probably going to get his attention, but there's nothing for it. we got to do what we got to do. Sure, there's nobody in here. We need more wood frames. Mm, let's make another twenty. Okay, see, the last time we dealt with this guy, we jumped up here and killed him from down below. Ah, uh, you know what? Screw it. Oh, we got a zombie bear, too. We've riled up the whole damn countryside, haven't we? Including a spider. Lovely. All right. Let's um get rid of that. Get rid of that. Where's my torches? Let's get the master key out here and go to town on this safe. We'll have to wrench another car and get some more gasoline to fill back up. The large gasoline tank mod uh, for the augers are awesome.
Okay, more 7.62s and an orange hunting rifle. Um, it does 79 range damage. I mean, that's not bad. Let's take it, but I don't know if we're going to actually take it on the road with us. Well, we might take it and stash it. All right. Yep, that was a nice find. Replenishing our 7.62 is always a good thing. Now we got to figure out how we're going to get out of here. Since we've aggroed a bunch of Zekers and feral ones at that. Um, probably what we should do is just kind of hunker down and let them wander off because they're not currently aggroed on us. Zombie bear down there. Yeah, let's let's throw some rocks and see if we can get him get him out of here. And then we need I want to head over towards the junkyard and we gotta do the yellow POI as well. You better not come too close to me, Buzzer. It'll be the last thing you do. <laughs> I look at the bears just walks away from it like it was nothing. Okay. Now he got killed. Boy, there's a lot of resources on him too. Maybe we should go harvest them and then we'll stash all that as along with the hunting rifle. Alright, let's see if we can get someone to go off this direction. Three of them to get out of here. Nice. Come on. Keep running, guys. Keep running. Don't come back here. There's nothing to see here. Move along, you bastard. Let's do one more just a little further out. They're all, <laughs> they're all like bunched up on each other. Oh man, that was funny that that uh, that bear went down like that. Okay. These guys are all still off that direction, so I think we're okay. You know, something we haven't done in a while is put a bedroll down. We really should do that. Feral spider too, even worse. Man, this is so dangerous right now. Look at them all over there. I'm not gonna mess with the bear. Let's just go. Come on, spider. Get out of here.
Looks for landmines. Oh, there's another, like, little trailer home there. See, the, the ground is almost pitch black right in front of me. And I don't dare pull a torch out right now. Oh, I guess we only need 10. I thought we needed 20. All right, so... <clears throat> putting the... Um, bedroll on top of the yellow place might be a little bit dangerous. Because if we spawn back up there, there could be buzzards waiting for us. Maybe we should go back up there and set it down. Okay, we got a spawn point. Um, we're going to keep it there, though. Almost rather put it up higher. But, well, no, I guess we, would, we wouldn't get sleeper spawns in here now if the bag's down. Well... As long as we don't set another bag down. So now nah, let's just leave where it is. Let's just leave it where it is. What I should also do though is let's make a chest. I don't know, let's make about twenty of these. Yep, you guys just keep blowing yourself up. That's fine by me. Let's put the chest down. And we'll just have some, um, uh, some extra frames, and let's put a few stones in there too, so if we need something to throw, we have the ability to do that. I'm also going to block that door. And block that little passage there. Okay, that's good. Alright, now, um, it's really hot down there right now. Really hot. I want to get over to there and over to there. Zombies are all over the place. <laughs> At least they're blowing themselves up. Can't complain about that, right? Is that guy down there a feral or just a normal? Oh shoot, I was going to put the hunting rifle in there. Yeah. 
He is a barrel. He doesn't know where we are, though. Oh, I guess he does. <laughs> He's trying to get to us. Does he know where we are? I think... No, I think we might have lost him. And there's another one. I really want to put that hunting rifle in there. Any chance we can break this without getting his attention? Probably not. Let's try it. I mean, it's not like he can get to us, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so let's stick the hunting rifle in there. Should we give ourselves a couple of rounds to... Give ourselves five rounds if we ever have to use that stuff again. Well, I'll tell you one thing. If you're going to be uh, pinned down <clears throat> by a bunch of feral zombies at nighttime in the wasteland, at least make sure you're pinned down at a POI that has landmines all around it. Okay, can we get this guy to bugger off with stones? sure where he's at. Alright, let's go down. We might just need to kill him. on the he must be on the other side of this building Sounds like he's right around the corner, but can't really tell. Oh, he must be inside the building. Okay. Alright, let's get this zombie out of the way. And we're going to try and work our way over to the yellow building and nerd pull up on the roof. Now, we could have vultures up there, but we're just going to have to deal with them with our shotguns. Uh, but we also have to remember to block off the bridge too, because the zombies can get up there. We learned that the hard way. Doing, lady. Go this way. She's like all messed up. Okay, I don't know where this guy is. Let's throw a rock off that way. I think he's still kind of stuck on the inside. Maybe he's taken off. Okay. Let's go. 
Make sure everything's loaded. Yep. This is intense, man. Oh, come on. Go away. Like, far away. There. Okay, now, actually, the fat loots in this place are right behind this wall. But if we start using the master key... Yeah, we, we should probably just get up on the roof. Get our weapons ready, because there were buzzards over there the last time. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is we want to block off this little bridge thingy. That's, that's nice, too. I'm just going to leave that in there. I think that'll work if we get anybody's attention. I think we'll just kind of bump up into there and they usually fall off to the side. Now, we could do this one of two ways. We could try and bust through the side. What time is it? Oh, it's, it's almost morning. You know what? Here's what we're going to do. We're out of time anyway. Let's pause the game. I'm just going to hunker down on this roof, you guys, until daytime. And then when daytime, you know, when morning comes and we get some light, uh, we'll start the next episode. And then uh, <clears throat> we'll probably try and break into this place uh, from the side uh, that we came up. Okay? So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave comments, share out the video. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.